Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa for the second consecutive year. That's right, we won last year in 2023 and we did the repeat for this year in 2024. Stop by, we'll show you why like we have many, many others. Today I'm going to show you this 2010 Subaru Stella. It's got 94,000 kilometers on it, which is about 58,000 miles. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show you the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more. So please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. The Subaru Stella is a four-passenger vehicle in the yellow plate category. So the smaller category. Road tax per year is going to be 3,000 yen, which is about 24 bucks right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're going to take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about this till next April or May. Now you do have two ways to pay for this. First one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce our overall monthly payment, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before I go inside, I always like showing you the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit. This way, if it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is it's going to give you that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. You got to keep this dash as cool as possible. So, in addition to that, you may want to consider getting a dash cover. Or to keep it simple, go ahead and buy yourself a, a, a nice size large uh, uh, bath towel or uh, beach towel, lighter in color, and drape it across the dash. Okay, with that, let's uh, jump on in. Let's get this baby started. Key fob on your person, uh, foot on a brake. You're just gonna crank it over. Let's see if I get a better picture. No, no, it's still right there. As if the key was in there. Now, if this key fob battery dies, you are able to slide this over, and this comes out like a regular key, and you can insert it in there, okay? But then this also does have, um, as you walk away with the key, the doors will lock on their own. As you walk up to it, it will open. So it's a proximity uh, remote. Okay. Adjust that a little bit. Stick this in here. 94,196 on the odometer. I'll show you a couple of warning lights. Uh, actually, let me turn this off real quick. All right. I'm not sure if this one is going to be it on top. Sometimes there's a, um, a little green or um, a blue uh, thermostat looking thing. That's your temperature gauge. So I believe because it was warmed up, it's, it's not going to show up. And I believe you saw the red one that was right here. So I believe it's going to be red. I'm sorry. I believe it's going to be uh, blue or green when the engine's cool. Um, and it, it'll stay on when it's um, while it warms up. Once it's uh, warmed up, it's going to go away. And then it'll be red if it's overheating. Be on the lookout for that. Obviously, this one over here is your uh, seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. And this one over here is your emergency brake. This one is a kick type. So when you kick it, disengage, it goes away. Kick it again, comes right back on. Oops. Okay. Other than that, it's very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Anything pops up on a dash while you're driving, especially if it's red, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Okay. On top of the dash, you do have a little apartment compartment for storage. You have your radio over here. Let me see. This one does not have a rear camera. You have your air conditioning controls, um, power outlet, your shifter. Uh, continuing off to the left, above the glove box, you have a little compartment for storage and the glove box itself, not a gigantic one. But uh, you do have a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red road flare hanging out. And then this is the space I have on my side. Uh, the seat is all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Um, kind of like the Hondas, I'm a little crunched in here. Uh, I'm okay to drive it. I can still drive it, but I just wish that it would uh, slide back a few more inches because they definitely have the space in the back, but I don't know why manufacturers do that sometimes, but I can still drive as is. All right. And then it does have a little uh, um, center console here slash armrest uh, with a little compartment there. Now, if, you, if you're if you one that likes to come in and put your elbow here to adjust yourself, 
do not do this on this. You're gonna break this uh, this cover right here, so be careful of that. Let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. Way back. I'd like to take this time to show the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Come on. Graded non-accident from the auctions up in mainland. Well, there's other dealers out here can't tell you that on all the cars. We can for each one. Um, and some dealers will try to discredit this auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. It's graded uh, four from the auction with a CMB on the exterior and interior. So it's a pretty good grade for this. And that's going to be up here on the sun visor on the driver's side. So you can see that for yourself. And we'll also help you decipher it if need be. Um, and I forgot to show you, it does have a couple um, compartments here for your sunglasses. Okay. Yeah, what else? Uh, this guy hanging out right here, that's your ETC reader. That's your electronic toll collector. This works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. And yes, it is breathing. All right. Then you do have a cup holder on each side of the dash. Okay. Anything else under here? You got this uh, compartment here for storage. Down here, you have your hood release. And then please don't forget on the floor here, you have your gas cover release. On the door panel, you have your uh, mirror, window, and door lock controls all right here. So let's uh, turn this off and let's head to the back. And you'll see why. Okay. Let me just recline these just a little bit. I can already tell. Okay. All right, so with the seat all the way back, all the way down, I'm about a half inch away from the back seat to my knees. Um, uh, on the back of the driver's seat, you do have pocket storage plus a little hidden compartment that you get to uh, put uh, some stuff in. And then on the uh, passenger side, you have a little uh, compartment or uh, pocket storage. As always, be careful what you put in there. It, it, it is kind of loose, but you still don't want to rip it on each side. And then a little storage and cup holder on each door panel. And then no center armrest or anything else like this. Okay. So you lift this up. So pretty decent space back here. Now, obviously, you can pull these handles to recline them, but you could also put them down. You will have the hump here, so it doesn't go perfectly flat, but still an amazing amount of space for uh, for a smaller car. Let's go to the front here, show you the engine compartment. I'm going to wrap this video up. There you have it. It's a 660cc engine, nice and clean. So there you go, 2010 Subaru Stella. Oh, something about the engine? I'm sorry, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that's a four, uh, four cylinder, not a three cylinder like all the other ones. Okay, 2010 Stella, 94,000 kilometers on it, which again, about 58,000 miles. Military price is down at 4,700. Additional military discount, we'll get it down to 4,500. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the uh, 4,500 will include a two year JCI, the one year bumper to bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax and a 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing in, on top will be the American insurance requirement. Whether they go liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles, then stop by Johnny's Used Cars, let us show what we have, what our program's all about, and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. One of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car in Okinawa Award for the second consecutive year. Again, stop by, we'll show you why. Don't forget two ways to pay for it, US dollars cash outright, or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.